bit of explaining to do. The night Ricky Mauer showed up, he took first watch, just like he said, and I tried to get some sleep. That didn't last very long. After an hour of tossing and turning, I heard a tapping on my window. I was so scared. I mean, it could have been anyone or anything, but it turned out to be a friend. Well, I guess. Let's just say this person isn't out of the doghouse yet. But anyway, they explained that the only way to keep me and my friends safe was for me to keep moving. That way, Peter couldn't figure out where I was. But it also meant I needed to be separated from Bethany. Don't worry, she's somewhere safe. Somewhere only me and my friend know about. Jerry, Princess, Ricky, I'm sorry I just left in the middle of the night without saying goodbye. And, um, Jerry, I'm sorry we stole your car. I mean, really, it's a borrowing for an undetermined length of time. Anyway, I'll keep in touch with you guys. And the nice thing about continuing to move is that I can post videos and once somebody figures out where we were, we'll already be gone. Okay, I think I've left you in suspense long enough. Say hello to my little friend. The sun is free as a bird now. And this bird you cannot change. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Lonely Jew 15. What if Anne Frank had a webcam?